back to the channel. On today's afternoon, we're testing out a phase runner setup with a 72 volt battery on our Super 73 RX. Um, we've been testing this around um, a few weeks ago, but we're revisiting it. This time I plugged in a, uh, what I think is a stronger battery, uh, UPP from Amazon, around 800 bucks, 72 volts, 40 amp, 60 amp on the discharge. And uh, I'm testing it out first time now. It took me a while, a good while to finally fit it in the frame. I'll do a walkthrough when I can, but right now I just want to test top speed. Uh, I have my GPS on and I have the cycle analyst below just to see if it's kind of accurate. But right now we're at 2300 watts. Going about 38 miles per hour. My, my throttle just cut off. Oh gosh, what's going on? Turn off the system. See if I can reboot. So my phase runner control is under here. This is the enclosure right here. It's a UPP uh, 72 volt 40 amp. Um, I think something just cut off. My motor uh, throttle stopped working. Let's reset the vehicle. Okay, now it's working again. Uh, I'm not fully charged. You can see at 78 uh, 0.4 volts. I just got the battery today. Currently my maximum top speed is 38 miles per hour. Ah, that was weird. It cut off after 38 miles per hour. I don't know if you guys saw that. My other smaller battery, 72 volts, never cut off on me like that. Alright, let me punch it again. On the cycle analyst, I'm not seeing any errors. That was weird. I really need to get over 40 miles on this bike per hour is what my hope is. If not, I'm going to change controller because I know I have a good battery, but it is just a stock motor. That's the next thing I'm going to probably change. I pushed for 3,500 watts on this motor, stock motor before, and other YouTubers have done it too. I've gone to 50 miles per hour. Try to touch our motor to see how how warm it is. Nope, the motor is cold as hell. Okay, we're gonna keep going up and down the street in case it cuts off again. The fastest I've got in this is uh, 40 miles per hour with the other battery. My goal is to keep up with traffic. <laughs> so I kept the um, the original controller on the lights, so that way. Um, that way all my lights are still working. I gotta say, I'm not happy with this battery. I mean, I was really hoping for more, um, for more punch. Because I believe the previous battery that I have, that I bought from just some random guy, I kind of gambled on it. I believe it was only pushing 40 amp on the discharge. Uh, this one, this one um, is 60 amp, and it's a U it's a known UPP brand. Um, but yeah, this again, this is the first time we're testing it out. All right, we're max punching it here. The motor, the stock motor, is loud as heck. We're at 2,200 watts. watts 38 miles per hour Ooh, we got a we got a hard stop there another try 
we're on a main street. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty. Twenty-five hundred watts. And climbing. Forty miles per hour. Forty-one. Forty-two. Two miles per hour. That's not bad. All right, a little bit of a downhill here. Okay, that's good. We're not cutting off. That's the main thing. I've actually never been up here. And I've always wanted to try. We're in a garage. We're gonna chill here. And the, uh, I think this is like the city hall police station. Okay, let me just feel the motor again. Cause that was a good stretch there. Not warm at all. Controller, semi-warm. Semi My phase runner control is underneath here. And again, this is a big battery, barely fits. It's a 72 volt, 40 amp, $800 only on Amazon. Yeah, this is the first test, but I am not happy with the, the torque. The top speed, um, yeah, it's around 42 miles per hour. That, that was my goal. Actually, 45 miles per hour was my goal, but it was getting there slow, so, um, hmm. The next thing is probably the motor. Oh yeah, this bike sucks in the hills. Oh my gosh. That hill, uh, this is like a, a typical garage ramp. It was literally going uh, three, four miles per hour. Jesus Christ. There's something wrong with the, um, maybe the settings or something I can tune further because that was really depressing going up that small hill and the ramp up is just too slow for some reason, in my opinion. Um, hmm. So more tuning for sure. But so far it looks cool. Um, you know, it, the battery is hidden in there pretty well. I think the phase runner is uh, mainly made for like uh, scooters, to be honest. That's why it's such a small factor. I feel like it's made to spin um, tiny wheels, not really uh, e-bike wheels. At least not uh, not going over uh, 40 miles per hour, in my opinion. The battery was so damn heavy. It was like uh, 39 pounds out of the box. This UPP battery. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more content, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Check out the useful links in the description below for discounts on your Aerial Rider, Super 73, or your DIY baffing kits for those off-road adventures. This is Julian signing out. See you guys in the next ride. Peace.